Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. It's about time to continue on past the Crystal Sage and look for the doll that I need to gain entrance into... whatever that place was called, the... Boreal Valley or something like that. But before that, let's spend the souls that I got from defeating the Crystal Sage. I almost have enough souls to do two levels up, so let's go ahead and pop a soul so that I do have enough. Use this tiny one. Oh, 200. So cute. I'm not sure which one would give me more. Probably the large one. Let's use the, I assume, smaller one and see. 2,000. Okay, that's probably enough. Very well, then <gasps> no. I'm about a thousand short. Alright, let's go ahead and put one point into Vigor to get some more hit points, and one point into Dexterity. Also, while I'm here, I guess I might as well check to see whether I can draw out my true inner strength. No! I knew it! Fuck! I knew something was wrong with that, why I was able to keep drawing out my inner strength and gaining levels and levels again and again. I was like, something bad's gonna happen. I, something's wrong. It's too easy. I... Oh, I sucked them dry. I took all of their life essence. Shit. Ah, I'm sorry. I mean... It's not like I really did anything wrong. I didn't exactly know this would happen, and they gave it to me willingly. It's not as if I stole it from them. <sighs> Rest in peace. like such an asshole. I think I hear another one. Yeah, very faintly, I hear another one. If only I had a beating to a pulp. coming around, isn't it? This says liar ahead, and then this says pointless ahead. So 
so is the lie that it's pointless and there is a point? Or is this message about there being a lie referring to a different message that says jump down? I'm getting mixed messages here. Never know unless you try. Now I know. Well, in light of that, I'm going to downvote this one, and I'm going to upvote this one. So hopefully somebody in the future won't be as confused as I was. Let's go around the back. Ooh. That looks like kind of medium armor. Might be for me. Okay, how does this compare? It's a bit lighter. Physical defense is... Eh, it's pretty much the same. It's less than strike, more protection against slash and thrust. Probably evens out. Significantly worse fire, lightning and dark protection. Significantly better poison bleed and... Poise bleed and poison. Significantly worse curse and frost. Hmm. It's kind of a wash. It's better in some ways, worse in some other ways. I feel like it might be a bit worse, though, because of how bad it is at def uh, defending against fire, lightning, and dark. Especially lightning, it's terrible at lightning. What about the other parts to it? Similar stories? Well, that's pretty much just way worse. Yeah, I don't really think that's any better. Let's see what it looks like, though. Oh god. Big robe. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. It is really, really pretty. That is a beautiful set of armor. I look much more like a proper knight. With my other set of armor, I look like just like, a, well, basically like an assassin. I look like a ne'er do well. But here, I look like a shining white knight. Quite literally. It's all white. Although, perhaps my sword, or spear, being wrapped with poisonous, rotting flesh maybe gives away the fact that I'm not exactly the whitest of knights. 
so it's definitely a lot prettier, but is it better? Eh, I don't think so. It's not like hugely worse, I just don't think it's really much better. I'm gonna go back to the Fallen Knight stuff. I feel like I was gonna do something. Oh, you know, this is from something like two episodes ago, I think, but actually something I just remembered is I never looked at the description for the Bone Wheel Shield. A giant wooden wheel, encircled by spikes and half-melded to a strange skeleton. Can serve as a makeshift great shield, albeit one with great gaps. Its true value is revealed through use of its skill. Wheel of Fate. Thrust out the wheel and give it a good spin, shredding enemies with the outer lining of spikes. That sounds so cool. Let's put it on. Jesus Christ, that's big. That would be particularly bad at protecting against spears, though. <laughs> that's really cool. Bonfire. Bonfire, but no bonfire ahead. Very sad indeed. Looks like there's only one way to go, and that's behind me, but let me just make sure of that. Okay. Message ahead. Bonfire. Eliminating one at a time required ahead. Could this be a, an umbral ash? Hmm. One at a time. I only see one. Where's the other? Before I go there, I want to see what's up here. Try right. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Secret? Secret. Crest shield. One of the enchanted blue shields. The crest shield greatly reduces dark damage. Ah, so it's like a shield of purity or something. It's a shame I don't use shields. I bet there's some really pretty. Ow. I bet there's some really pretty shields out there. I've got, I've already gotten like two dozen shields, and they all look so different. It's an amazing variety of them. You're a fast one. Did that not break their poise? Oh. 
That was the one that was down here? How did it see me? Paladin's ashes. Umbral ash indeed. Let's go back and use them. Gracious, passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> Alright, what do you have now? I wish it was super obvious what was new and what wasn't. Okay, that ring is definitely new. The exile leggings, that was all there before. Crescent Axe. That might be new, I'm not sure. Yeah, whatever she added, though, it wasn't much. At most, a couple items, I think. Let's see what this ring is. Boosts damage absorption when HP is full. Hmm. Ring given to Knights of the Way of White. Depicts All Father Lloyd's Shield of Cast. Much time has passed since the worship of Lloyd was common in the Way of White. The clerics of Karim had always strongly asserted that Lloyd was a derivative fraud, and that the Allfather title was self-proclaimed. I feel like that's a ring that's not going to be useful generally, because generally speaking my HP is not full. If it only boosts damage absorption when HP is full, then the only place, the only situation in which that's really super useful is if maybe you're fighting a boss and you're worried about, like, singular, large attacks. Because it's only going to defend you against one piece of damage. Because as soon as that piece of damage is done, you're now hurt and this ring will no longer be active. I don't think I'm going to go for it. It doesn't sound very interesting. Oh, wait, I think these are new as well. Walnir's crown. And the sage's big hat. I really wish you could compare items in the store against your currently equipped items, but apparently that technology is too advanced for 2016. Maybe in Dark Souls 4 they'll figure it out. So is this crown better than the thing I'm currently wearing? Don't know. Ashen one. Be sure one. I'd love to compare it, but I don't feel like taking a picture of the stats and comparing it side by side. Can't be asked. Oh, so I'm actually going to a completely new location. Cathedral of the Deep. I probably have to kill you, otherwise you're gonna stab me from the back. Oh, he's... they're not there. I guess these are one-time enemies? I guess so. shield. Shields of this style are commonly used by savage mountain bandits and offer high resistance to poison. Hmm. Be wary of sniper. Gotcha. That might have been the sniper that I already defeated, though. I think it is. I 
Actually, no, it's not. I see the sniper right up there. Just testing the wall of structural integrity. Oh, wow, there's a lot of archers. I just want to test something real quick. Whoa. I want to test this. Oh, there's an invisible wall. Friend ahead. Friend? You don't seem like a friend. <laughs> hey, what the hell? <laughs> okay, it's a suicide bomber. Gotcha. Okay, that one's pretty funny. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna upvote that. I just want a flaming hug. Oh. What's with those raspy noises? Is that coming from the people praying, or from something else? Friend ahead, sure. You can't get the item unless you kill them, can you? Okay, then. Estes shard, yes! Beautiful. Okay, pathway over there, pathway up there, and pathway back here. Three ways to go. Rolling ahead. Hmm? Whoa. 
What do you mean rolling ahead? No bonfire ahead. Is this a boss? Also, don't think I don't see you up there. I see you. That's a bonfire. Why does it say no bonfire head? It's also got tons of upvotes, which means it's probably true. Which means... that's a trap? It must be a trap. Hmm. Let's go the other ways first. Something just died. I just got some souls. Okay. I don't know what you are, but come here. You look like you're made of noodles or maggots. What the hell are you made of? Worms? I think it's disgusting. That statue is disturbing. something strange about this room. There must be something to do in here. Hmm. There's so many ways to go. Let's stay down here for now. really break these things poise, so I can't stun them. St. Tree Bellvine. Is that a whip? Some sort of a weapon. Oh, it's a chime. It's a mage's weapon. A sacred chime for casting miracles of the gods. A bellvine cut from a small saint tree that has been meticulously tended to. Saint tree bellvines are customary in the far north and allow for faster casting time than ordinary sacred chimes. I don't know why I said casting time. It just says casting, not time. Close to the wall to hit it. Almost lost it. A 
I've been using this weapon for quite a while, and I think I only just now realized there's actually a different attack if you're sprinting and you attack than if you're just running and attack. So if you just run forwards like normal and do a light attack, that's what happens. But if you sprint and then do a light attack, it's actually a different attack. It's a bit faster. Oh, whoa. I also didn't know this. It looks like the, um... It looks like the, what do you call it, like the pouncing attack? Which you can do by doing the combination of, if you tap forwards and then do the strong attack, it'll do it just kind of in place. But it looks like if you actually run and do a strong attack, it does it by default. Or, sorry, not run, sprint. If you sprint and do it, that's the attack it does by default. Interesting. Okay, now I'm back up here, right? Yep, so that just loops all the way around up to here, so this is where I need to go. Oh, but there's also this up here. So many pathways! Oh my god! Oh my god, too many pathways! Oh! This is the body that I saw, right? Yeah. Oh, it's just a tight night shard. I've already got like 40 of those. item up there. How do I get up there? Hmm. I guess from within that building. Wakey wakey! So fun to run through stuff and break it. Ah, oh, so satisfying. This is a strange little place. Secrets? No secrets. Death. Hmm? Where? Do they just mean grave?
<laughs> Can I backstab these things? I doubt it. You think it's gonna feel it when I step on its tail? No? No backstab. It's so disgusting. It just leaves viscera and just fluids wherever it strikes. Poison bite ring. Probably increases poison resistance. Yep. Increases poison resistance. One of the bite rings native to Kareem. The crafting of these rings is forbidden, perhaps owing to a fear of malleable stone. Clerics, however, dabble freely in the art. If only I had a torch. You got this far in the game without having a torch? Every wall looks suspicious to me. Is that the only thing back here? I guess so. Is it just me or is the architecture here just totally jacked up? Like, what? what is this thing that I'm standing in? It looks like it doesn't even belong here. Look at this weird gap. I think this is the only way I can go. Back here, yeah. To the fake bonfire. Hmm. I've got 16,000 souls on me, I really don't want to lose them, but you know what? Let's go for it. Looks like a trap. Probably a trap. Could be a boss fight. Oh, chairs. Mm. I'm scared to go to the bonfire. Ooh, notched whip. Ah, back. <laughs> what, are you going to use it as a back scratcher? Doesn't open. I'm going to do everything before touching the bonfire. Only I had a friend. Time for rolling. Indeed, my friend. Maybe it is just a bonfire. This is a perfectly functional bonfire. What were you talking about back here? No bonfire ahead. 27. Wow. 27 people upvoted this. Trolls. I'm gonna downvote it. Okay, neither of those open from this side. Interesting. Hmm. Let's go level up. I also want to see if I have enough Titanite stuff to upgrade my weapon. Because I've just gotten a bunch of Twinkling Titanite stuff. I don't remember what I actually need to upgrade it, though, to plus three. Right. Oh, right, I also have an Estus Shard, don't I? There we go. Ten Estuses. Uh, let's see, I need Titanite Scales. I have one, I need three more. Damn. I'm getting those really slowly. I wonder how much I could upgrade my S-Doc to at this point. Hmm. Well, I guess I could only upgrade it to plus four, because then at that point I'll be out of large Titanite shards. So, can't really upgrade it that much. 
We do about 15 more damage, which is a decent upgrade. But I haven't been using it lately, so... Eh. I could upgrade the Halberd. But... Eh. I never use it. Pretty be careful. Let's take a look at that whip before I forget about it. A whip with thorny spikes that shred skin, causing heavy bleeding. The Cleansing Chapel uses whips such as these in order to produce the drops and puddles to wipe clean during its rituals. Ugh. Skill is Impact. Strike from the left to evade shields and deal a stinging blow that temporarily slows stamina recovery. The shackles of bondage lie deep in the hearts of all humankind. Temporarily slows stamina recovery. It sounds like a PvP weapon. Well, very well then take me. Hmm, what shall I go with? Let's go with dexterity. Farewell, Ashen One. Now, there's nowhere else I can go in the Cleansing Chapel right now, right? It seems like. So let's go back to the Cathedral of the Deep. Friends back. Okay, so going back to here. Wait. Oh no, I could have. Yeah, I could have just gone to that bonfire. Oh, I totally misread where it was. Right, I fell di- no, oh, I'm in diet. Okay. It's fine. Okay, so now I've already been back there, I've already fallen down here, so the next way to go is up. Try torch. Hmm? What do you mean, try torch? Like this? Are they scared of the torch? Ew. Ugh. Can I set them on fire? Doesn't seem like it. I don't see the torch as being very helpful. These things do so little damage. Oh wait, are they just... Are they arising again? Or are more spawning? I mean, they are undead, so it makes sense that you wouldn't be able to kill them. 
Unless you need to burn the corpses or something? I don't know. Can I burn the corpses? Doesn't seem like it. These things give me almost no souls. I guess that's like an anti-farming technique or something. Yeah, they're just coming back. Okay. I mean, I get like, they're zombies, they're undead, they come back. Maybe you need to burn the bodies, but how? Can I attack with my torch? Oh, you actually can attack with a torch. Oh! Can I two-hand the torch? Oh, I can't. Is this actually killing them for real, though? It seems like they're still coming back. Yeah, they're still coming back. What's the point of this? I don't get it. Maybe I'll just ignore them. I just want to make sure there's nothing over here. Oh, there's something over here. Pathway. Ooh, great sword. It's a whole nother pathway. Interesting. Where does this loop around to? This is through the main way. There's another place down there. A lot of pathways. Okay. Ridiculous. Uh, a couple items. Is that the only way in there? No, you can just walk right in. So what's the point of this place up here? Just a nice vantage point, I guess? I guess. swords. Uh oh. Oh my god, what the hell? Nope. Nope. I'm out. I believe there's another pathway to check out. One down here? Yes, let's go down here. Should be better? I mean, it gets them out of the way, I guess. 
Yeah, maybe you shouldn't bother killing them, but you should set them on fire and then run away. Ah, I meant to kick him. That loop de dupes around here. What's back here? Is this where I just came from? Yes. They fell off. Okay, I th think I've been through every pathway up here? I don't know, there's a lot of them, but I think I got them all. Really beautiful. Look at that. The zombies are kind of ruining it, but we can appreciate it for a couple more seconds. Is that like a summoner or something? Are you control of the zombies? They were not the summoner of the zombies. I was hoping maybe they'd all crumple to the earth or something. Whoa, there's a lot of items over there. Look at that. I see four. Five. What's with all these spears, though? Has the giant been flinging spears over this way, too? Let's not go down there just yet. Oh my god, so many bad eyes. Oh, this is the top of that building that I thought was strange when I was at the bottom of it. Going to the top of that would be nice. Up there looks mm, disturbing. Probably a boss fight. Let's go this way. Secrets. Tight night shard is a really crappy secret, but I don't really care because it's still a secret. It's my secret song. Finger butthole. Nice. Nice. Praise the rear. <laughs> that one will upvote. Not the other one, though. Reminds me, I need to take a look at these swords that I've gotten. Actually, let's compare it against my current weapon. 
I got two swords, both of them great swords. What were they? This is one of them. Pretty good damage. It doesn't have any crazy stat requirements. Uh, actually, it requires more dexterity than strength. This greatsword, bestowed only upon elite knights, is a relic of the ruined land of Astora. Designed for a focus on thrust attacks, this sword is hard and sharp, but not unusually heavy. Hmm. Yeah, so it might be a greatsword, but it sounds like it is one that I could actually use. It's all about thrusting. It's not particularly heavy. Interesting. I might actually try to use that. Uh, what's the other one I picked up? It was another greatsword. Well, I guess if it was another greatsword, it must have been this one. Probably. Requires more strength than I have. Greatsword of a debauched executioner used for beheadings. The sword retains a keen memory of its executioner's duty and absorbs FP from each fallen foe. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I actually want to try... Astora Greatsword. But not just yet. I'll do that later. I also picked something else up, didn't I? Yeah, this thing. Great shield given to those who resisted the curse long ago. Far too heavy for an ordinary person, perhaps it signifies the foolishness of resisting the curse. And yet, those who bear the weight of this shield will not find its protections against curses wanting. Requires 34 strength. Wow. That is insane. Could this be a shortcut? Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. I assume that goes all the way to the bottom. I knew this room was suspicious. Okay, so next way to go is down there to the graveyard or up here. Let me see if there just happens to be a bonfire just right up at the top or something. Oh my god, that is definitely a boss fight. Oh, come on. You think a couple boxes are going to stop me? Rusty coins, I'm rich. Oh, ambush ahead. Hmm? See an enemy sleeping, it's gonna wake up, I guess. Hmm. Oh, hey. I'm curious, can I even open the main door here? It looks like they require an offering. Doesn't open from this side, okay. Let's go down to the graveyard. Actually, let's just assume that's the giant trying to help me out. Everything's cool. Not going to attack me. Yeah, that's totally the giant helping out. 
Right? Yep, coming from all the way up there. Thanks, buddy. Hope I can repay you someday. Bone jar, yes. I think that's everything. Yeah, it looks like it. Nowhere I can fall down to. Nope. Okay. There's only one way to go then towards the ambush. Ain't no shield gonna stop me. Just keep beating on them until they finally give up. Uh oh. Suicide! Be wary of a right. Oh, hey. <laughs> you know, I complain when bosses and, well, just normal enemies as well, attack through walls. But I guess sometimes I can, as well. these things. They look like stakes. Premature. Oh. Get that flame bridge out of my face. Small hand axe used by Lothric slaves. A cunning weapon for a cunning lot. This axe is quick and deadly. Interesting. The special attack was quite strange. Whoops. It said, uh, quick step. Instantly step behind or around the side of foes, especially effective when locked on to target. That sounds really interesting, actually. Not really the sort of weapon I'd want to use, though. It's, inc it's incredibly short. Where did that come from? Oh, you. I'm hearing something from over here. Raspy voices. Oh, hey!
Ah. I wonder if I could make that jump. Because then I could walk up there and get around the other side. Hmm. Not worth it, though. Not unless I find a bonfire or something. I feel like I should find a bonfire soon. It's been a long time. Ambush ahead. Hmm? Oh, I see the little feetsies. Thank you. I don't really have any way of actually attacking them. Oh, this is bad. Okay, we're good. Hmm. What's going on over here? Looks like worshippers. And one of those big mage things? I didn't think I'd die from getting hit by that. Alright, well, I've been recording for a while, so I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go try to get my souls back. <laughs>